Hey, do me a huge favor before you start this episode and please rate and review this show. By doing this simple task, it helps me rank higher on the podcast charts and helps me reach more entrepreneurs who are looking for free content like this. It will take you less than 30 seconds of your time. Thank you in advance, and I hope you enjoy today's episode. I just videographed Safi, oh, excuse me, Rafi and Sarah Fialino. They have uh, a coaching program called Journey to Marriage. Uh, it's for uh, Catholics and geared towards young Catholics who are perhaps wanting to date, uh, learn how to get in, learn how to get into, have relationships, and ultimately get married and do this within, you know, the Catholic framework. And Rafi and Sarah are a young couple, and. Um, they have a couple kids and they're obviously Catholics and they have some great frameworks and they turned their they've turned their story uh, into their message so their mess into their message but they you know both came out of tumultuous relationships and then um, or just tumultuous yeah dating relationships as Catholics and felt like they weren't being true to their Catholic heritage uh, and so I got to videography this presentation as well as get a whole bunch of testimonials so I'm going to talk about that <laughs> if you made it through that intro amazing <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about you know intros I've been reading copywriting secrets by Jim Ed Edwards and you know uh, he's very He's like, hey, what you say right out of the gate, the headline on your ad, your email, your text, your video, your podcast episode, these things matter to get people hooked and engaged. So I was like, oh, how do I want to, um, what's the, how do I want to uh, introduce, uh, introduce <laughs> this episode? And there it was. There was my, um, my one minute and ten second headline so uh, Journey to Marriage they did a pr presentation you can go to journeytomarriage.com and check it out but Rafi and Sarah Fialino um, they were giving a presentation at the Good Shepherd Parish um, to a bunch of young Catholics and it was awesome oh my gosh I I don't have a ton of traditional church experience in my life, um, but I'm just going to talk about some of the takeaways quick. Uh, so first off, I was very inspired by the gathering. So 230 people there, place was packed, um, energy was amazing. You know, I love God. I love me some God. I love the universe, whatever. <laughs> cosmic energy I don't care what you call it higher source higher purpose I'm all in on that right and uh, you could feel the love you could feel some God working in this uh, in this gathering and and uh, yeah what do I want to say here yeah so you could feel some God and um, the community it was so powerful and it was very inspiring uh, just to see the community, like-minded people, um, young people, all wanting to do th good things, better, them th better themselves, you know, have healthy relationships, date in a healthy way, what they believe is a healthy way, and, you know, ultimately have thriving marriages. And, y y you know... <laughs> Rafi and Sarah it just came to me but they had this one thing they said where you know part of why they do this is they're inspired to help people get married you know and as a, as a path to God and as a path to heaven you know not only while we're here but in the afterlife and you know providing a, a path for your kids and stuff it was pretty awesome the way they talked about it but I'll tell you um, they brought me into videography it so i I, now at this point, I love the iPhone. I video everything with iPhones. 
So I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max, I think it is, which is, as of this recording, is the newest best. And that was the street sweeper I needed to let it go by. Um, so I, I used that to video, I put that on a tripod to videography, to video the main presentation. Then I have a iPhone 13 Pro that I put on a tripod and it faced the audience. So I had recorded the audience through the whole thing. And then I have an iPhone SE that I put on a DJI gimbal and I walked the crowd and got interactive you know crowd close-ups and things like that uh, so very cool um, and then got testimonials at the end and I did the stadium style testimonials where it's uh, and I probably got 10 or 15 testimonials and I also got a testimonial from the lady who puts the event together I think her name was Pamela, Pamela Poe. She's an amazing woman, amazing young woman. Um, you know, younger than me. I'm 54, I think, as I record this. And, uh, and so she's 30, maybe. What, young kid, new family, married, all that. But just, you know, she's the director of this parish. And so the Catholic Good Shepherd Parish anyhow stadium style so what I do is I get a stool get my microphone and I sit somebody in the stool and all the action is happening in the background it's like you see on um, football or college football broadcasts when they when the camera is facing the the broadcasters um, I think that's what they're called. The guys who are talking on the mics and then all the action is behind them, right? All the people, the, the stadium, the crowd, what have you. Uh, or, you know, when people interview people on the f football field after, right? There's all, everybody's behind. It's a ton of energy. So that's what I did. Uh, so a uh, couple great things that these guys did. They... Uh, First off, they announced when they were given their presentation, they said, hey, you know, we're going to give a free coaching session or a free T-shirt to the first 10 people who give a testimonial. So go find Misha after. And that was really smart, I thought. And, uh, and then I also, at the end, grabbed the mic when everything was done and, and you know, they were turning it back over to the it was time to mingle for the crowd to mingle and I gotta say all 230 people stayed to the end pretty much and then everybody just mingled after and it was awesome so anyway I grabbed the mic and said hey I love Rafi and Sarah because I've known them for a while um, I really want to grab you know anybody who inspired who was inspired come over I'm gonna make it super fun we're gonna have a ton of fun you know I'll be right over there I pointed come over and give me your testimonial and it worked great people were like yeah so we had a nice line of people giving testimonials and I got some great great content oh my gosh now I get to edit it all up so I thought that was really cool two things to do one if you're giving a presentation make sure you got somebody there to get testimonials at the end that's one two announce at the beginning that you're going to be getting testimonials you'd like them and you'd like you know crowd interaction at the end so have a little giveaway for them to encourage them to come give a testimonial and then three Maybe let the testimonial guy, whoever's getting the testimonials, at the end of the presentation, just introduce themselves. I think that was really smart that I did that. I introduced myself, humanized myself, said, hey, it's going to be fun. I'll be right over there. So that definitely helped. Um, so Rafi and Sarah, uh, they had awesome, they had a great name for their presentation. They had awesome secrets, 
you know, and the secret was the secret is the result. Like these are this is the top three things you're gonna get from from the presentation. And, you know, and it was uh, you'll go on amazing dates. Two, I, I can't remember if it was that, but it was something like that. You know, two, how to how to you know thrive within your current relationship like never before. And three, you know, how to have the best marriage in the world. Or something, right? How to, I don't know, it was, uh, versus like, you know, th- uh, versus like, you know, a tool set. There's 32 sockets, <laughs> right? Very planned, mundane. Anyway, I thought they did that very well. They, they had amazing secrets that told of the results so you were very excited to hear the presentation. You know, the results, not the features, the benefits. That's, there you go, the benefits, the results. Um, and then, you know, there were people there that actually, so they traveled from Vegas to give this presentation in San Diego. And... Uh, there were people there, like they had a little following and they were able to reference, who happened to live in San Diego, so they were able to reference success stories of people in the crowd. And I thought that was super smart. And what else? Uh, they just were great, super engaging. They let it rip. It was their first major presentation and uh, it was beautiful. So. There you go. The, I, I, I'm feeling insecure <laughs> about my podcast episode, but there you have it. Love to all. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Table Rush Talk Show. For resources to help you sell your stuff, go to B-E-L-O-V-E dot media forward slash resources. That's B-Love dot media forward slash resources and be sure to subscribe comment five star and share thank you again for listening